example, Russia, I've gotten 11,000 requests from there. Poland, 42,000. Germany, 96,000. On Tuesday alone, more than 350,000 people and about 2 million total have checked out Avi Schiffman's open source website focused solely on the coronavirus. I spent a lot of time working on it. The 17 year old junior at Mercer Island High School created the website at the end of December, but says people around the world are now using it to get the latest data. I decided it would be kind of cool if I made a website that was kind of like a central hub of information so that I could make sure that there was no misinformation and that the numbers were as accurate as possible. You can quickly see um, the total confirmed cases, the international ones, the, you know, the total deaths, total recovered. Where is the information being pulled from? Sure, the information comes from a variety of sources. A lot of it is from the WHO and the CDC. Alvi says his website is keeping it simple. Although it sounds far from it, he's using code that automatically updates the numbers every 10 minutes, hoping to ease fears and publish the most accurate information. And there's going to be more pandemics in the future. And there's going to be, you know, earthquakes and things. And it's it's been kind of concerning to see people like scurrying to Costco to get the last water bottle or mask when I think that they should have prepared a long time ago. Right now, he's spending his time making sure his high traffic site is staying in tip top shape. Once things calm, I'd like to make something really big. Um, I'd like to make not Facebook, but something like as big as Facebook or like how Napster changed the music industry. And in the meantime, he says he's heard from more than 50 translators looking to get the site published in several different languages. Britt Moore, King 5 News.